I don't want to feel like I'm excluding Ryan. I, I just need to f dra I'll, I'll drag your ass in, Ryan. I got a lot to say, and I'll just I'll just like grab you by your by your scruff and just be like, "Fucking talk!" <laughs> say something! Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. There's enough for everybody. Nothing. I said it. I will punt a five-year-old across a fucking tower. Don't even try me. I know you will. Because I believe we've done that before, so. Alright, first, who the hell are you? Second. Terrible. Well, yeah, yeah. Little, little spaghettios in there. Don't worry about it. That should be very easy for you, yes? Hurtful. You're not wrong. That's what I thought. I will see you later, Phoenix. And she turns on her heel just on the pad of her foot and starts walking away. Uh, for the record, uh, Captain Calica Main is a tabaxi. She is a calico Maine Coon looking ass tabaxi. <laughs> There's not a lot behind those eyes, is there? I have a feeling your birth certificate is an apology from the condom factory. <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> Oh, Could shit. you tell me who is spearheading this job at least? Maybe I can run off with that information. Oh, you overrode my cough drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so excited to use all of these insults and these just comebacks. And oh, she is so spicy. <laughs> Skid to a halt as uh, probably about 10 feet ahead of Kincaid. Still has his gun drawn. You after me too? Oh. I mean, I wouldn't be working for those assholes anyway. Who sent you? Myself? What color's the sky? Eh, of, uh, orange. He just... Yeah, you're too stupid to know. He puts the gun in the hip. Alright. Sorry for shooting you. Come here. I'll heal you up. I'm just gonna sit here by my lonesome And I'm gonna sing to the show I don't have anything to go with it Make a deception check <laughs> And Light or Phoenix, roll me an insight check. <laughs> Almost said lightning. Okay. Oh, uh, insight. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, what was my deception? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Versus Phoenix's insight. Gotta pray he rolled low. Uh, sorry, that's not low. That's uh, twenty-three. <laughs> she's, she's trying. Phoenix, Phoenix, you could almost swear she's being a dick. <laughs> do you want me to be a dick? Oh, by all means, please do. Spent the last hundred years with this bitch attached to me. Fuck that. It's 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 like hold on, 
I I'd have... say she's been a bigger thorn in my ass than you have, but at this point, you're kind of like the festering pimple on an ingrown hair. You look like you need to carry a potted plant to replace the oxygen that you're wasting. Oh, yeah? That's fine. You don't get- you didn't get told no much as a kid, did you? Because all you're giving me is pick-me energy. Oh, there's no pick-me energy here, but I, yes. you really must you know. Really there's been plenty of races that I have been in, but if you were the prize at the end of mine, I would walk backwards. Yeah, that's okay. You'd stumble over after the first few steps. You, you give me weapon-grade stupid when I hear you speak. That's okay. That's not the only thing I can weaponize for you. You're the walking equivalent of corner store sushi. That's okay. I probably still taste better than you. Oh, I bet this one would hurt. Anyone who's ever loved you is wrong. That's okay. Nobody's ever loved me. Oh, so you have mommy issues. No, I don't have issues. I am the issue. Oh. Currently yours. No, I'd continue to insult you, but I'm pretty sure they'd go over your head. Coming from someone of your height, that's surprising. Listen, in order to reach down a hand, I'd have to be beneath you. And I don't think anybody would want that. That's okay. You've bar you've set the bar so low, you're digging down underneath the dirt to get to it. That's okay. I'm just digging to find you. Oh. You remind me of somebody I would really like to forget. Yeah? It's a good thing you've got amnesia. I wish we were better strangers. You don't get much better than the best. Who the fuck are you? You know, one day I wish you would walk in my shoes so you could see what a drag it is to be in your presence. Listen, you can sit here and talk all the shit you want. Talk all the shit you want. It'll never smell worse than you. Says the man who apparently hasn't bathed in a couple of weeks. All right, now that's a low blow. I've been on the run for the last couple of weeks. This Something is a wash, you're very familiar it, it with. It takes a little bit of a washcloth and a dab of soap goes a long way. He just goes, "It's okay. You're used to being on the run." It's clear you're running from something, and he turns away and just starts walking off. I have I word. Didn't you might have this time. I have word you're holding <laughs> fugitives. What? Me? Fugitive? No. Come on. Don't lie to me, Phoenix. I'm not lying. I'm too stupid. Well, Terry has immediately gone up and has her back packed up ready to bolt. Are you still in the room? Well, I'm haven't still I haven't opened the door yet. She's kind of waiting to see what happens. I just came on for a, a It's new not a crime long one. Show. It's like 25 seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's the people that came out with the boys. <laughs> you want to yeah, see I'm my boys? They need a little air. All it's right. been a minute since they've been out to play. Is that what we came back on? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Anywho. Go Ray, Ray, okay. please clip that. Please clip that, Ray. <laughs> oh, that was mildly horrifying. Uh, nope. Nope. Your, uh, your car did. Already. This, the fucking stream has just barely started and we're getting a card draw. <laughs> Don't wait, do wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, before you draw the card, this is important. You may continue. 
I was going to say, you did not coordinate them. The squeaker did not pick up. <clears throat> Howls. I want to know the why. Because if I'm going to fucking get shot at and stabbed protecting someone, I want to at least know why. We'll call him... We'll... we'll, we'll. We'll call him my ex, because that's what he is. That's my ex. That's, that's, that's my ex. Okay. He we sold something that was mine. That was mine. And I may have may assaulted have him, him when he you tried know. to use the money to buy a ring, and I told him no. Right. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so I'm getting potentially shot at and murdered over a jilted lover. Good to know. Well, mine maybe guys just, I might forget. Ray, I will always aim to make the players and the audience cry. It's true. It's very true. On Terra, you. Uh, that would be great. Okay, I'm gonna just slowly start massaging like the base of his wings and kind of moving up a little bit. Nope. It's his back leg go a little bit. Oh. <laughs> stop! Stop! That's weird. That's weird. I hope you hit the right spot. <laughs> so an important thing to realize. You need a ship," said Brennan F and Captain Maine. F and Chad to pay respects. <laughs> Poor Calica Maine. Didn't even get time to get horny over her. No, you really didn't. <laughs> Are we ready? Are you? Are you? I saw a post on Facebook that was like me trying to be adult, also me. Hiya! That's 100% accurate. That's me at work. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because. <laughs> Here's an important question Is Phoenix lactose intolerant? No. Good. He's a spam. He's, he's a lucky boy. He's he's living the dream then, because I wish I was not lactose intolerant, so I could take on a six pound bowl of mac and cheese. Same. But so you've you've left the room. Phoenix downs a six pound bowl of mac and cheese. In under 10 minutes, he gets he, the free t-shirt. He's a growing boy. He needs to keep it up. <laughs> I don't think he brought anyone home. He's never here. I like you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm on Terra. Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi. He's lovely. I like him. Where she do? Phoenix. You look yes. skinny. Have you been eating enough? Yes, Master. Have you been working out recently? No. We're gonna have to go to the gym! Put some muscle on you! You're looking skinny, little man! He goes out to Ontario. Antara, please kill me. That's what they call it. You have no definition! And you look, as he lifts up the shirt, it's not flabby like he gives you the impression of. He's jacked! He okay. looks like people use him to do their laundry. Okay. Like a grind meat off of them, that's a... You, they call it washboard abs for a reason! 
Delightful. Well, come on. Food, let's uh, go. Okay. Shoot the captain. Sit, sit. You are pushy. And you are small. We will make you great. The mind is only as good as the rest of your muscles. There are buckets next to you already. And he goes, Come. Eat until you can hold it in. We're training your gut. I don't like you. You won't. Why do you think Phoenix was afraid of coming here? This is not. I can smell the fear on you, boy. This is not why I wanted to come to here. So you added new equipment, Master? Well, I didn't have it for when you came home. Stops! Yeah, you'll have fun with that. I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, you'll have fun with that. I'll watch from I the sidelines. No, yep. Pick up the dumbbell or I'm beating your cheeks! Master. Do you make it a habit of insulting people you force into your home? Yes. I like you less and less the longer I'm here. I'm right, Mr. Todd. What's the finest monks that the battle skies have ever seen? And the loudest, for very obvious reasons. Pick up the dumbbell, or I'm gonna make Pick up the dumbbell, or I'm gonna make you wear it as a necklace. By being sassy when you're weighed down by 50 pounds of neck muscle. Move it, move it, move it! I need everybody to make strength checks. Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay. 14. Okay. You guys, you guys both succeed. Like, Phoenix, you're feeling a little weak right now. Like, uh, and Todd notices it. Master Todd sees it. Comes around with a little reed and just. Ah, Jesus. Clack, clack, clack. Smacking you with the reed. Get it together, boy, mom! You weren't ready for this when you put Todd in your backstory, Ryan. I was not. I said to eat until you can hold it all in. You know the rules! <laughs> Third rule of Todd's training. Third rule of Todd's training! What is it? Just make it up. It's happening. Put down food. <laughs> Just put down food. That's third rule of Don's training. And he looks at you, Ontara. Just says, and proceed to the next training. It's time to be made. Oh, thank God. We're ready to be swept. Okay. okay, I can deal with that. I've got cheeks and rodentia, tusk love, also the storm. That's a personal favorite. <laughs> oh, I've read that one. It's really good. It's a favorite. I have a couple others. I have Starbound Thrumper if you like space romances. Ooh, I'll do that one. That's a good one. I think that one. So much to clip. Accurate. Accurate. I knew what I was doing when I named this character Todd. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's see. I have- The entire crew of people get fucking exploded the moment that me and- I almost called you lightning. Phoenix! Dove bomb off at the fucking ship! It sounds like you had a great time. Oh yes, great time. Nothing says 
fun for all like oh, watching well, people cool. who had no idea you were about to be the reason for all of their ultimate i'm uh, not ultimate demise but welcome to piracy i looked at him i was like listen i was like i get i'm a dick and i like causing problems and making people suffer i was like but the suffering only counts when i cause it okay it's like it only counts when i do it if you are suffering and i am not the cause of it i will help you fix it <laughs> Guys, welcome to Sky Pirates, where we sit here and act like absolute dipshits, fucking causing chaos on the high skies. It's because we're gay! No, we're gay. <laughs> we're gay! But that's a given. That's a given. They know you as the chaos bean. We just got, we just started and I got a clip. That's how you know it's going to be a good night. <laughs> Right. I imagine Lightning could have come back very easily with the <clears throat> tools that he needed. Phoenix. Oh, yeah, Phoenix. Hmm. Why did I say Lightning? It's been forever. <laughs> that should tell you how fucking invasive his legacy is. That he's one of only two characters you have played more than once. And yet he's the one that's like, yeah, he's up in my mind, man up in my brain and i don't like it you can't get rid of lightning he is there forever and it's because lightning is a force of nature yeah and he's in every hole so phoenix would easily know the way here get the bag holding thank you thank you you did a good job i am proud of it lightning. i appreciate it ah. phoenix damn it <laughs> damn it and that Greg, was three for three. We're Greg. out, folks. <laughs> We've completed the Triforce. Congratulations. We did it. Fuck. We did it. Fucking furry. Uh, God damn it. Yep. Stupid fucking. Ah. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> I'm I have not concerned. because I hate him, but because he's so fucking intrusive. I have concerns about that because all I'm hearing is, especially since I think at one time Lion was a, uh, wasn't he a cheetah once? A big ass cheetah? Could you imagine the damage that thing could do? That puts a uh, bad dragon to shame. Which, which, which game was it again? Where Lightning's was basically just like one of the big boy uh red bull cans uh that was <laughs> heroes of T uh no that was um that was uh world at war finish tenebrae yeah yeah he's My just fucking rocking around a tall boy can of red bull fucked up i was drunk are we doing hang on give them a shout out and i'll catch it didn't we basically just do the whole ass shout out? We sure did. I'm like, I feel like I've been fucking fawning over them this entire section. Like, come on. Dude, okay, we're like an hour in. We've gotten bare minimum done. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's ADHD day. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, past the book. Uh, he's gone through and he's like digging out weapons and armor. Pull out. <laughs> oh, pull out game is apparently very weak. I was going to say, every time Ontara pulls out of a situation, it comes right back to fucker. Usually without lube. And I, say, he, he has played the magic card fake card draw again. Oh, I got this. I play the magic card card draw. By paying a fine of 5k points, I can have a card of fate be pulled upon you. May it may be good or bad. Pray that Lady Luck is on your side. <laughs> this is one of those times I wish I had, like, my comically large card of the Dark Magician next to me so I could just throw it down. No, it makes me wish I still had a dual disc so I could... I'll have to. 
because I will be the one that ends him. It will end fucking empire. He nods, ruffles the feathers on the top of your head. I can say I'm proud of you, boy. You've you've been through a lot. Your entire childhood suffer <laughs> suffering through Todd's training to get to where you are now. And I can't wait to see what you become when you grow further still. Shit's really gonna hit the fan, isn't it? You're gonna lose a friend tonight. I don't like how you said tonight. Neither do I. But such is the burden of prophecy. You should know that all too well. I had around 95% of the shit that's happened in the last week. But even hearing that it's going to happen, I'm just... At least now, I'm numb to the idea. Don't numb yourself. Being able to feel those emotions, that's what makes you mortal. To feel those emotions and live your stories is what it means to have lived your life. And unfortunately, and you notice, his accent has slipped. It's not the southern drawl. To... Everybody believes gods as all-powerful beings, able to shape the cosmos around them, but... Most gods are nothing but children throwing a temper tantrum. I'll awesome. tell you what I told him. I'm taking those bastards down. And we'll make sure you have all the hands you need. Good. But for now... A beating! It's therapeutic. It, Doesn't you know that? <laughs> he takes you down to the den and just puts you through the paces. But he's going harder than ever. <laughs> Listen, I understand you want a beefy orc boy of your own, but Tusk Love is for the girls. They love that shit. The girlies and the gays, they, they crave that shit. It's not what I'm talking about. I, I'm not bringing up that one. Just... Do you know why I read the smut? Do you know why I read the smut? Because you're a dirty old perv. Well, that too. But, no, no, no. It's nice to dream. Yes. I thought about a, a happy marriage one time. But, instead, I got an awkward domestic partnership with a gruffy asshole and a child. I got a awkward domestic partnership with a gruffy asshole and a child that we didn't ask for. But I love you all the same. Sometimes I came to think of you as my own blood. And you know what? I think we did all right. I think so too. 
The bond of blood is thicker than the water of the womb. Don't forget that. Your friends, they'll be there with you. No. I don't think I could have taken care of you alone without Ren's help. You could. Lilloran cuts you off. Our fates were decided for us countless times before. As enemies, as siblings, as friends. This is the first time in our lives that we've been able to make the choice for ourselves. Well, maybe that choice is stupid, okay? And maybe I kind of enjoy having you around and... That's disgusting. I know. Listen, we're a footnote in your story. We're just part of the prologue. And unfortunately for you, every prologue comes with loss. Can you say or do something and make me hate you so that when you do die, I won't feel any remorse? Been a week, you needy bitch. <laughs> I am a needy bitch, okay? Fuck off. No, that was me trying to make you hate me. It's, but it's true. I can't hate the truth. Been a week. I know. It's the longest besides Quacka that I've actually spent time to get to know people. People. And too low. I think that's why you're scared. You're afraid to lose decent people in your life. Now that you've opened up. But, uh... Joke's on you. I'm a piece of shit, too. <clears throat> Come on. Who keeps calling their new friend and telling her she looks exactly like his ex? You are not making this easy. I'm not. I'm going to make this as difficult as humanly possible. Okay. I know how to do this. And... On your person, he pinned a badge of Featherfall. And you watch as the Imperial fighter comes to land on the private dock. <clears throat> and that's where we're going to close tonight's session. Ah. Uh, son of a bitch. With that... We are all going to go. I'm ready for a nap. It's been a long week. And I'm ready for sleepy poo. Let's go go take a nap. I'm going to go take a nap. I'm going to go take a crappy Barbara nap. I'm going to take a crappy Barbara nap. So, we love you guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Fucking Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>